we were hunters and foragers, wanderers on the savannas and the steppes. There were no border guards then, no customs officials. The frontier was everywhere. We were bounded only by the earth and the ocean and the sky. When the climate was congenial, though, when the food was plentiful, we were willing to stay put, unadventurous, overweight, careless. In the last ten thousand years, an instant in our long history, we've abandoned the nomadic life. We've domesticated the plants and animals. Why chase the food when you can make it come to you? For all its material advantages, the sedentary life has left us edgy, unfulfilled. Even after four hundred generations in villages and cities, we haven't forgotten. The open road still softly calls, like a nearly forgotten song of childhood. We invest far-off places with a certain romance. The appeal, I suspect. Has been meticulously crafted by natural selection as an essential element in our survival. Long summers, mild winters, rich harvests, plentiful game—none of them lasts forever. It is beyond our powers to predict the future. Catastrophic events have a way of sneaking up on us, of catching us unaware. Your own life, or your band's. Or even your species might be owed to a restless few, drawn by a craving they can hardly articulate or understand, to undiscovered lands and new worlds.